Well, hello everybody, and I just thought I'd go through some of the um, thinking behind where I'm going to put the new power outlets that I'm just preparing for. Now I've got a whole load of uh, bits around uh, it's these type of things uh, that, that I'm putting in. Uh, you can see those. Um, that is one of them. So I've got a face plate, a face plate that goes on the outside of um, the mounting area, and then these pop through and fasten in uh, to that face plate. It makes them look all nice and tidy. And there's two connections on the back, uh, live and earth, and uh, that that's just to secure it in to the face plate there. So they sit, um, let's just show you how exactly that works. So you've got your face plate on, that pops in there, you get that up whatever way you want it. Yep. So that goes up, well, actually goes up that way. Um, and then from behind you pop this securing um, nut on actually get it around the right way there's there seems to be a right way and a wrong way to get these on um, they're not easy there you go uh, so that's that's the right way up so you'll see both of them will look like that <clears throat> so it'll be quite a nice tidy um, sort of installation and I thought and I was just ju just sort of swivel you around a bit I thought that I put them put one up here because you know we've got the seating area here and that would look pretty nice up there but and I'll take you over to show you I've taken the little um, cover off of the side there but let me just take you off the off the tripod and bring you over to where we're talking about now um, I'll just show you the other side so that's the this is the cover that I've taken off uh, you see it just secured on by a few little screws and uh, I wanted them over here because the what I'm doing is I'm putting the um, fuse box underneath this sofa um, so I thought that it'd be really great if I could get them so sort of on this piece here and behind but you'll see there isn't really even a fingers gap so you know if I was expecting to get um, all of this into there you'll see that that is just not gonna work anywhere down there so this this piece of metal here is the bulkhead of the cab and I think that goes well I think it goes right up to sort of this level so you know I could probably squeeze one in here but that would mean taking all this off and I'm not completely happy about disturbing all of this so Let's just put you back on there so I can tell you a bit more. So I think what I'm going to have to do is um, put them down below there on the outside of the seating area. Um, so the, the sofa is here, the big lounge sofa, and there's a piece of wood down this part. So I'm going to drill a couple of holes in there and get this on the outside of there so that actually this will be really close to the fuse box which I've already started to I've already started to wire the fuse box up so imagine this bit of wire going from the live to one of these fuses and then obviously a bit of wire going to the earth but then this, um, this is going to, so this is live coming in. 
this is a 60 amp inline fuse that just closes over and seals so you see I've made that connection already and what will happen then is a similar cable will run from the other end of that fuse out through the floor just under there and onto the positive side of the first battery what will happen then is a black piece of wire which which was the earth there's nothing different in these in these wires they're exactly the same apart from the covering one's black one's red just for visual um easiness if you like so i've got this uh common earth bus bar they call this and you'll see uh there's lots of sort of screw holes in the side we connect these cables so this cable will come back and connect onto here and that will go back to the earth on the second battery so we'll just run that cable down through the floor and back out to one of the batteries and another red piece of cable coming up to the fuse box and then once I've got um, this other cable which you'll see is a lot thinner so cable from the battery has to be that big because it's taking all of the ampage for all of the devices so this is the wire that's um, recommended and provided with the kit this is the wire that's going to take the little sort of 5 to 10 amp um, to each fuse so that's the that's the earth so I'll come off the back of there with this earth cable and that will then go that will then go onto so I'll have it connected up like so with this metal this is it's just a it's a block of metal with holes drilled in it so it will earth back to the battery all the time so I'll have little short cables going from here to here uh, in this and the red cable which I'll use for the live will come off of one of these fuses uh, just let me take the top off of there and I've, I've popped a fuse in so that you'll see there are 10 um, outlets on here so I can put whatever fuse I want in whatever thing so I'm going to put um, 5 amp fuse for the first outlet so that's a 5 amp fuse will come off of there on a red cable so that will go from there onto here right so that will that'll all be connected up so the power will come from the battery into the fuse this little 5 amp fuse will pop in there actually I think that is that actually is a 10 amp fuse so these are all color coded I think the 5 amps are yellow um, so this is a 10 amp fuse which won't be used for this one It'll, there'll be a 5 amp fuse going in there I don't think I've got um, yeah I've got we've got a whole bunch of uh, different color or different amp rating fuses and uh, where are we they're not that easy to see um, yeah I think that is this orange one is the yeah that's the 5 amp fuse there so I'll be using quite a few of those um, 5 amp fuse so two 5 amp fuses will go out to these two outlets um, so there and there on red wires and then the black return wire will come back around onto the earth and then that'll all be good to go so we'll have um, a charging point for USB and it comes with a 12 volt um, power outlet 
So I'll be able to plug in my laptop charger. So these there's two USBs on there. One's one's at five. Uh, sorry, these are five volts each. One's at one amp. One's at two point one amps. So um, total three amps. So you know just over three amps on there. So the five amp fuse. Ideally, ideally, I think you'd want a four amp fuse, but they sort of make them in steps of five. They go, you know, five, ten, fifteen. I think you probably buy others, but they're not so widely available. Um, and then this one, which draws uh, ten amps, I will probably, maybe, I'll put a ten amp fuse in there. See how that goes. If it if it blows all the time, then I'll put a 15 amp fuse in, um, just just for you know, so that I don't have to keep on replacing the fuses, and it'll still be safe. It won't go more than 15 amps, so it's not going to overheat and you know burst into flames. Might might you know might see if I can buy if the 10 amp fuse goes in this connection. Um, although it doesn't, I've got um, I use it on the on the TV socket at the back. And that's rated at four amps, and this is rated at a max of ten amps. Um, oh, actually, I'm just looking at this again. This is uh, three point six five uh, amps at, uh, 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 on a continuous draw. So I won't actually I won't need any more than five amp fuse for that one. And this is the laptop charger. So. You'll see, I mean, it's all pretty simple, isn't it? Um, apart from where to put them. Um, you know, I, I might I might well run uh, another, another one or two of these across to the other side of the lounge. And maybe when I've got, so I'll have to run the wire underneath the van, um, back out from the fuse box and back over. And then maybe I can put in a couple of USB and 12 volt outlets in the outside cupboard. Um, that would be great. So I, I bought, I bought the big, I say, it's the big fuse box. Um, it's got ten outlets, so I can I can wire up um, ten of. Oh, I've got it in my hand. I was looking around for it. Uh, I can wire up ten of those uh, on this fuse box, and that will just, you know, simply as long as I don't go more than sixty amps in total in a continuous or peak draw um, it's not going to blow that fuse if i do start to draw more on that it's probably going to be a problem 10 of these at five amps a piece that's 50 amps if i've got them everything going all at the same time unlikely and it'd be a seriously unusual situation we have um two phones two tablet computers ipads and one laptop and a battery, a camera battery charger. Um, so that's uh, two phones, two pads, um, laptop, camera battery charger. So there's six, six things going to come off of here, and I've already got the USB in the cupboard here. So that's going to be great, and I'm, I'm sort of getting on with this bit before I fit the inverter. <laughs> I'm, I'm more. I'm keener to get this done than I am the inverter because we're sort of running out of charging and we want the low sort of voltage charging sooner rather than the inverter because we're doing quite well without the inverter and that's going to be a bit of a sort of luxury item if you like. Anyway, that's it from me. I'll show you more as I go along and get these fitted. Um, I might not be able to film me actually doing the work because I'm actually doing the work and not filming. So, <laughs> so there you go. Anyway, I'll see you again next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.